We're talking about heights. We move over to the high hurdles. And a great field here. Looking forward to this one. Quao Mathy. Frenchman, the 22-year-old on the inside. Great opportunity for him. He's on 30-27 this year of Paris at uh, the Diamond League. Sasha Joya. Actually was at the championships, wasn't it? The dates up there. Joya himself with another big performance. French continue to produce great champions. The former world junior champion. Dan Roberts is elected to keep his tracksuit bottoms on as far as I can see. On the far end there. Now what about this? This is Trey Cunningham and the man who looked as though he might take the title. Didn't quite manage to do it. This is his first Diamond League. Never really seen him on the European circuit. He's, a, he's an incredible talent. Finished second at the World Championships in the one in which Hans Parchment was unable to line up for the final. He had a bit of a problem, a bit of a niggle. Only had five men who contested it, but it was this man who came out on top. Grant Holloway retaining his world title when perhaps uh, not running quite as well as he was last year, the year before. Happy birthday, Damien Schickier from Poland. Made the final. He was one of the five in the final. We had false starts, injury pullouts. Martin Olagard would have uh, been kicking himself. He got knocked out in the semi-finals. And he's kind of handing it over to the younger men. Joyo on the far side in particular. But he's been such a great servant of French high hurdling. And has often run really well here. But I'm interested to see how Trey Cunningham goes. 13 seconds flat at the NCAA Championships on that fast track in Eugene. Wasn't too much slower than that. He's been incredibly consistent around the just outside 13 seconds, 13.1 all season long. When you consider he'd only run 13.21 before this year. Show the level that he's managed to reach. So can he give Parchment, the Olympic champion, and the world champion Grant Holloway a race here? They are, they are in lanes four, five, and six. Dan Roberts might not be too far away either. Over in lane three. Six. Cutting ever away swan. He saw his Roberts watch but gets completely left by the others. Grant Holloway though just starting to take charge of this one now. It's Grant Holloway and he's pulling away from the rest of them. He's showing why he is the world champion. Holloway gets it from cutting a 13 flat. And Holloway continues to exert his authority on the men who are up and coming. Certainly Cunningham is one of those, but he's not to be beaten, not to be denied. In fact, it's just been taken down at 12.99, so that's his quickest run of the season. Always good to get under 13 seconds. He's struggled to do that. That's his struggle. It's not a struggle. He just hasn't produced the punchy fast times this year while well, he concentrated on winning that world title. I'm sure he'll be absolutely delighted with that. Parchment got completely left. Steve Holloway is so fast, left a picture in the blue shorts. He puts the others under pressure. Now, they're not looking at him, but they'll, 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 he'll be in their range of vision. And he just keeps the pressure on. He doesn't have a great run in off the barry. He didn't a couple of days ago when he ran in Hungary either. He won, uh, he was beaten there in 13-12. But here he's strong enough. And he's beautiful over the barry. He's looking at so quick with that lead leg. Snaps it down after the, goes over the barrier. And that's a huge lead he has going into the final barrier. Really good running from the others off the final barrier to close him down. I mean, the place time is great. Cunningham, 13.03 in second. Parchment, 13.08. Uh, a season's best for the Jamaican. And Dan Roberts, 13.20 in fourth place. But Holloway, yeah, supreme. Look at that focus. The thing about Parchment, Tim, is he, he's probably better than anyone over the last two flights. But if he's not out of the blocks, you know, Holloway's gone. Cunningham was gone as well here. You know, Cunningham did what he's been doing all season long. Really consistent performance. But Holloway just got the edge at the start. Probably got between hurdle one and two. Just got that half a metre. Kept it. Parchment was charging. Season's best. He pulled out of the Commonwealth Games final as well. And saved himself for the Diamond League. And he's been rewarded with a decent run there. A pretty good run. Well, over to the uh, women's triple jump. Now, ah, Ricketts has been in a very fine form indeed. 
opening round. Fabulous final phase into the sand. Boy, oh boy. Shanika Ricketts, second in the World Championships. She was fourth in Tokyo last year, but this year she's hit medal form, second in Eugene, and then a win at the Commonwealth Games last week from the uh, Jamaican. Season's best of 14.94, and that's not far shy of that. That looked to me like she almost came down on the 15-metre line. Of course, those uh, lines across the sand are superimposed by our software, but it was nonetheless a huge effort. Now, what can she do? Rojas, by the way, no jump to the first round. 14.91, that is superb. And that'll be something for the rest to chase, including Rojas, the world record holder. Roji. First round still. Good night tonight seems to be a good long jump competition. And we could be heading for a great triple jump here as well. Great start from Ricketts. And that's a good start from the American as well. Gets the white flag. Good on the board. Very close on the board. Couldn't have really judged that better. Maybe not quite as quick as one or two of the others, but powerful. Well, that's perfect, isn't it? Just a couple of centimetres, three centimetres, in fact. Just holding it through those phases. 14.56 for Orji in round one. That will put her in second at the moment. So, Perez Hernandez in the opening round. Fourth in the World Championships, the Cuban. Desperately close to the medals. Oh, lovely, long, rangy, relaxed, isn't she? She doesn't really look powerful. I can tell you that from the top eight in Eugene, only seventh placer, Jamaica's Kimberly Williams, is missing from this contest. Hernandez, fourth of the world. That's a nice effort to work on her account. Look to be just shy of 14 and a half metres with head bun, the uh, Cuban, only 20 years old, she's the youngster in this discipline, by far the youngest in this field, 14.37, really solid opener. Yeah, very high quality field, seven of the top eight in the world here, but nobody is better than Rojas, the world champion after that. No jump at the first round. There's only eight in this, so she can go at this. You know, you, you, even if she gets no jumps, it's not as though she's not going to get six jumps because there are there's only eight competitors. So she can have a real go at every single round here. She talked about yesterday. I want to break the world record. She did it indoors. She'd love to do it again outdoors after having done it at the Olympic Games last year. Uh, by her standards. <laughs> That's it. Neither, neither a long way, no, didn't look as though um, it was a legal jump either, let's just see. Uh, she wears a heart on her sleeve, she's a great entertainer. Just maybe hasn't quite got that zip yet tonight, I'm sure it'll come. And the crowd get engaged a little more yet over the board, so that's two no jumps for Rojas. Desperate to entertain. Well, the athletes out on the track for the next event, it's uh, the two...